Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and I have a Dollarama haul for you guys today. And I'm really excited, okay? If you watched yesterday's video, you already know that I found a very important item, a VII. -I. <laughs> if you are on Facebook and you follow the Dollarama hauls and finds and whatever, um, then you probably already know that I was absolutely looking for some Disney pot holders and Disney tea towels. I haven't found the tea towels. I'm still on the hunt. I'm thinking those are flying off the shelves a little bit more because they are um, a little bit more useful than having a whole bunch of pot holders. But anyways, <laughs> and I don't even actually use pot holders. Let's be honest. I use a dish towel, okay, which is what I want. <laughs> But my boys have started to cook and use the oven and stuff, and they want to use the pot holders. So they have been using the ones that I have here, but literally the ones that I have here are so old. Like they're so old. Like I could, I maybe did get some of them for my um, bridal shower, my wedding shower before Curtis and I got married almost 16 years ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so they're old, um, but they're not very used because I've just always used the, the dish towel. It's just so much easier. Anyways, yesterday I was freaking surprised, shocked, elated over the moon. Couldn't believe it. I looked and I saw and I picked up. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. If you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, Winnie the Pooh pot holders, guys. All right. I think they were all $4 no matter what. Like I have two different styles. So I have the um, two pack oversized mini mitts, which like, it's like mini mouse, get it? Okay. Um, but like, oh, just come on, come on. <laughs> Let me tell you, I didn't think that I had like a huge attachment to Winnie the Pooh until I bought something for someone for something, but dang it, I can't say it because, well, now I'm gonna have to tell Curtis he can't watch this video. Okay, I bought something for my husband for our anniversary and it's Winnie the Pooh and it's like, when I read it, I was like, oh my heck, like, I love you, Pooh. Like, <laughs> which sounds so weird to say, but like Winnie the Pooh is just like iconic and he is probably like his show and his movies. And like I used to watch, um, I found it like a few months ago because I was talking about it. It's like when they're like in the circus, like Winnie the Pooh has a circus and there's people in like um, costumes. Anyways, I found it on the YouTubes and it's there. But that was one of my favorite shows when I was really little. It really was one of my faves. And it's such like a vivid memory for me. I don't have like tons of memory from when I was a kid. I smoked a lot of dope in high school, okay? Like <laughs> I blame that for me not remembering a lot of my childhood. I just kind of remember the traumatic stuff, like, okay. But I really do remember sitting directly in front of the television watching that Winnie the Pooh show with the blanket wrapped around me with a glass of orange juice and a Tupperware cup with a little Tupperware lid thing on it, you know, like the old school ones. Anyways, I, I remember it. And something about Winnie the Pooh is it's so peaceful. It really truly is. Even though Tigger's like, hoo, 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 and he's like the Miranda of the group, the show itself is still so peaceful. And I truly feel like, like Pooh was ahead of his time. Okay, like honestly, the way that um, Eeyore is kind of like depressed, you know, and Piglet is scared, you know, <laughs> Pooh might have an eating disorder, okay? <laughs> but I'm just saying like, we can learn so much. We can learn so much from them and they have such good life lessons in the books, in the movies, and it's not in your face like, like a 3D movie that kids watch and it's like, stimulation overload you know what I mean when it's just like too much going on anyways I just I didn't know that I loved Pooh so much and I do and I got okay I just I'm so excited I'm not gonna keep all of these I actually am gonna send one in the mail to a friend and I think I'm actually going to give um maybe one to my sister I don't know I, ha I had a couple ideas um I didn't want to buy all of them in the store so I just bought um five <laughs> I definitely will be keeping one for me. 
Um, I really do want the tea towels though. So I am going to continue looking. Um, do you want to know how much I spent here? Let me tell you, $88, you know, no big deal. And like the last dollar Emma haul that I put up, um, I think I only spent like $14 at the Dollarama. There's something you guys got to know about me. Okay. <laughs> I think I spend more money than a regular person. Like I, I think I do. Okay. Like I'm admitting it. Like I have a little bit of a shopping problem. I know. Um, but I spread the love. So like it's, it's a community service. <laughs> but what I meant to say is like, I don't always show you guys what I buy. I don't always like take you for hauls. Sometimes I do hauls privately and for me. <laughs> I really do. I don't show you guys everything that I buy. And like, for instance, I might not have it posted as a Dollarama haul. Um, because like, for instance, this weekend, um, when we were camping in St. John, um, we went to Dollarama and it's in that vlog, just like a tiny little bit. I don't really do a haul. We pick some stuff up and we spent 50 bucks, like, like nothing, you know what I mean? And, and like, I'm not trying to boast to be like, yeah, I can buy $50 worth at the Dollarama loaded with cash. Like, nope. <laughs> I'm just trying to say like, um, yeah, I don't always show you guys because some people are really mean to me and they're like, like she absolutely has a shopping problem. Like, yeah, I do. I got a lot of problems and you're one of them. <laughs> I have a little bit of sass for haters now. You know, it's just naturally like cocooned around myself to protect me. Um, <laughs> but like, I don't always like say exactly how much I spent places now because I don't want people to be like, oh my goodness, she spent blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And she shopped on Torrid again yesterday. But enough about me. Let me show you the pot holders. So we got this one with poo. We got this one with poo with the balloon. Like, isn't that like the perfect nursery photo? Like, oh, look at Piglet. Oh, oh, so cute. I got those two. And then we got like a big one with Piglet doing that. And I don't want to like open them because, um, I might be giving them away. You know what I mean? Okay. This one says, hello, balloon. Hello, Piglet. Oh, you see what I mean? Like, anyways, there's this thing too. Is that also a pot holder or is that a trivet? I'm not sure. Oversized oven mitt and pot holder. Okay. Okay. So this is the oven mitt and this is the pot holder. Interesting because this isn't big enough to hold Maybe it is. I don't know. I just find these like flimsy, but they're really cute to look at. And you can bet your ass I'll be posting this on Instagram with my new friggin' Winnie the Pooh mug, which is like literally my favorite mug in my collection right now because it's got a honey nest thingy. What is that called? A beehive? I don't know. I just, oh, it, I'm looking at it right now. Like, are you looking at me too, Pooh? I see you, honey. <laughs> And this one's so beautiful. I guess a lot of people are actually looking for this particular one. And if you missed um, yesterday's video and you're from the area, I found these at the Dollarama that's closest to Costco on a road in Dieppe. <laughs> and it's near the Sobeys and the Lawtons. It's like right after you pass Costco. Anyways, I don't know names of streets. Like I just know where things are. And then if you tell me you're somewhere near this exact store, I can find you. I just don't try to get me to remember a number or a road because I can't. Um, anyways, people were looking for this one in particular and I just love the yellow. Like I think, well, <laughs> I just really love yellow because of Belle, but also um, I put on a black shirt. I've made a TikTok this morning. If you're on my TikTok, you've already seen it, likely. Um, but I, I had an orange shirt on and then I put a black shirt on and I was like, ugh, that does not have enough color at all. And then I wanted to wear a tank top because it's going to be like 40 degrees outside today. And the only like comfortable tank top I could find is this gray one. And I was like, oh, do I need to go buy more tank tops? Like stop shopping, Miranda. <laughs> but no, um, I'm just going to have to be okay with the grayness. I just love color. I just really love color. And it makes me like a little bit nervous for when um, like summer's over. Am I still going to be obsessed with color? Or can we move on to like a fall palette, which is like what Miranda would like to do in theory. But is she going to like to do that IRL in real life? I <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, this says, got that my Okay, got to say it like you are got that Monday morning feeling. 
<laughs> I love yours so much. And the, it says the same thing on the pot holder. Anyways, okay, and then I got this one. I don't know which one I'm gonna keep for myself. I might keep, I don't know. I don't know, it's, I, should I have bought more? I don't know, maybe. Oh, this one I think has got, oh shit, I have to keep this one. I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps, you guys, because I don't even, okay, well, I'm gonna keep this one, so I'm gonna open it. Like, I have such bad goosebumps. Do you guys see that when I show you? I feel like I need to, like, be honest and, like, show you that I'm being honest by showing you that I have goosebumps because it's, like, a physical reaction to something that emotionally stirs my soul. Look. Oh! Oh! Oh, my heck. Oh, there's a little tag thingy. Oh. Look. <laughs> that would be such a nice tattoo. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my heck. I just, like... Like, I would hang this on my wall. Like, honestly. I, I love it. I love it. Okay. So, moving on. I did get some other things. <laughs> um, they had some Halloween stuff out. So, I took the opportunity to pick up um, some things that I definitely know that I would want. Um, and I actually was thinking this morning while I was doing my hair and makeup, um, I was thinking... I like, okay, also about like, yeah, I have a freaky addiction to shopping. But like, what I was thinking is I need to get like a tote, like a big tote. And I do have lots of big totes, but they're being used currently for other things. So I think what I would like to do, and maybe Curtis is going to think this idea is totally stupid, but I think it's a good idea. Hear me out. I'm thinking a big ass tote in my bedroom for upcoming events and or seasons. So the tote is in my bedroom because like we have stuff bought for Cooper's birthday already. I have stuff bought for Halloween. Now I have stuff bought for um, Christmas, which is like not for a while yet. But when I was thinking, so I don't forget that I've already bought this item and I don't rebuy it, like buy it again. And then I have too much or I just forget about it completely until the holiday's over. And then all of a sudden I find a bunch of holiday stuff that I didn't get to use. So what I was thinking is if I pick stuff up for a holiday that's coming up, a birthday that's coming up, whatever, I could put it in this tote. And then before I go shopping to refresh my memory of what I already have, then I can look through the tote. And then also, if there's like a random birthday party, like when he gets invited to Rhea's birthday party, <laughs> that's a Disney character, don't think she's invited, but <laughs> but then like I can have something for Rhea's birthday already. You know what I mean? Like I just, I think it's a good idea and I think I'm gonna do that. But anyways, this stuff will go in this, you know, tote that I haven't bought yet. The figurative tote it is going in um, for Halloween. I'm hoping the kids will be in school. Like, do we have any idea what's going on right now in this world? No. Nope. Are we holding on tight? Oh yeah, oh, tighty whities tight, okay. <laughs> but assuming we're okay and Winnie is in school, like we got all the kids school, um, what's coming up, um, lists and like what day they do a staggered entry so they all start going on different days. But like everyone's gonna going, be going to school the same time like Skylar last year only half of his school went one day and then the other half went the next day like everybody's going at the same time and I'm just like quietly looking around like <laughs> like should we hold our breath probably not anyways assuming everything's well with the world or okay enough that Winnie's in school I got some stuff for Halloween treat bags because they don't really like um, passing out food, which I totally understand. Some people have allergies. Some people are, um, you know, diabetic. Like we have kids that ha have diabetes, which is so sad. Um, but like, you know, people might not want candy. So don't worry. Dollarama hooks you up. I got Halloween party favors. These are balls. I got three bags of balls. I don't know why kids love these so much because they do. They love these so much. Like Winnie has cups. <laughs> it's kind of funny that they're in cups, but that's what they're in. In her top drawer filled with balls. Okay, like cups. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think there's just, it's an easy place for me to put it in. And normally I, I take them away from the dog or whatever and put them on the counter and it ends up in a cup or else it'll roll. And then the cups get brought to her bedroom, and put in her top drawer where her socks go. And then every once in a while she gets the cups out, spills them all the way down the stairs. And then it's a big old game. Um, anyways balls two dollars each and I find um last year 
I don't know what it's going to be like this year for decor or party favors or whatever, but for every holiday last year, it was kind of like um, slim pickings. Like if you didn't get it while the getting was good, the getting was gone. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't want to wait till the getting was gone. I wanted to get on it. Um, got some Centos. These are fun. These are fun. Um, we have had a couple of them not be super good quality, but generally they're fine. Generally they aren't dried out and like, look how cute. Anyways, I thought they could do a marker or two depending on how many kids are in their class. I bought eight packs of these and like already these were getting slim pickings. So I, I just got enough that I thought like, so I didn't want to take it all because I know people in the Dollarama group are haters too. Also, if you haven't noticed, they really suck. <laughs> they like see a post and then find like 85 things wrong with it. And then I'm like, wow, making me really want to post on that site. Nope. <laughs> but anyways, just goes to show you that people are going crazy and um, the haters, haters are everywhere. <laughs> water, water everywhere is so not a drop to drink. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I was in high school. I attended high school. I don't know what that's from. Is it like Hamlet or something? I don't know. I just remember I actually listened one day and the teacher said that. It was in a book, I think. I Whatever. Um, four. Four packs of Americas. Okay, moving on. I got some stickers. I might already have some of these, but if I do, they're probably already open because um, the kids use them. Anyway, so for crafts, just for fun crafts, $1.50 each. We got bats, we got spiders, and we got the cutest little pumpkin you would ever see, and it's glittery. Adorable. Adorable. And these are fun um, stickers for kids to use because they can just peel off the backs and stick them. And it's just like, oh, put your feet up, have a coffee. Okay, that's... That's my jam. Also, put my feet up and have a coffee. They can do something to this. I don't know. Color it. Uh, marker it. Pray, pray on it. That's not it. Crayons. Paint. There you go. Um, cardboard pumpkin. $1.25. Color your own. Six pieces. So that means they can each have two. Fantastic. Okay. Gems. The gems. The orange and the purple. Gorgeous. Love it. And, okay, this is super fun. I saw this and I was like, oh, I want to play. I want to play. I love tic-tac-toe. And I even more love a themed tic-tac-toe that goes with the season that we are in. And look, the little things to like be tick or tack or toe or like the X's and the zeros, okay? Um, it's kitties and pumpkins. <laughs> Who wants to guess which one Winnie's going to be? I'll definitely be the pumpkin. Winnie will definitely be the kitties. But I just thought this would be so fun. I love tic-tac-toe. That is a game I can play really well. It is. And also like, like I can play rock, paper, scissors, but for some reason I always default to the scissors. Um, and Winnie knows that. So she's always this. <laughs> Every once in a while I'll switch it up. Um, but usually I'm just trying to like go as fast as I can. It just comes out like that every time. <laughs> um, also for Halloween, not sure if I needed it, but the reason why I bought this is because last Halloween, I was like, do we not have fake blood anywhere in this house? And we didn't. So I got some fake blood, but also instead of just buying the tube of fake blood, I was like, oh look, a fake blood with a fake blood finger that's fallen off and I like it, let's pick that up. So um, probably one of the boys will make a gag out of it or something. I don't know if the boys will even go trick-or-treating this year. Um, we did not trick or treat last year, but when he went to a Halloween party, it was a bad experience. <laughs> Enough about that. I gotta be careful with what I say on here now because I got some locals that watch. Hey, locals, how you doing? Um, which is that's great. I love it, but also I don't want to be like rude to someone, so we're just not gonna talk about what happened at that party. And we're moving on. Okay, um, Ryan's toy review. If you guys have seen some Dollarama hauls before, you know I love to buy these for Winnie. These are the Magic Marker, okay? We had them in the 90s. Now they're just everywhere. And it's one marker. When you color, it changes colors, and you only need one marker. And you also can't ruin anything. It's mess-free, okay? You can't ruin anything. So, like, if your kid rubs on your um, car seats or whatever, or you take it on an airplane, they write on the seat. It won't matter because it doesn't show up. So, anyways, that's always a good find. And I've never seen the Ryan's Toy Review one. Winnie doesn't really watch... <laughs> She doesn't really watch Ryan's toy review anymore, but she does still like all his toys. So she's moved on. She watches, it's crazy to me because she watches the videos on YouTube that Skylar and Cooper used to watch like two or three years ago. Like the sis versus bro and the 
Ninja Kids and uh, what else? This Presley guy or something? Anyways, they're all totally safe. It's just, it's funny that she is watching the shows that the boys used to watch and like the vloggers that they used to watch and she's so much younger than they were when they watched it. Anyways, it's fine. She's just mature <laughs> and so sassy. Um, got some markers and these are for back to school. I have tons of markers for at home because I bought a whole bunch before summer started and I've been like, I constantly feel like I'm buying markers because we use them a lot. Um, and it's fun and it's quiet activities and we like that. Um, <laughs> but I actually thought when I dumped these out of the bag, I'm like, why didn't I get some for Cooper and Skylar. Like, are they going to need markers? I honestly have no idea. High school, they don't tell you jack. You don't know what your kids need for high school. Actually, all that I know that Skylar needs is a laptop. And I read Cooper's list because he's still in middle school. He's actually going into grade eight, which is the last year in middle school. He also needs a laptop. So guess who's going to Best Buy? <laughs> cha-ching, cha-ching. We need some more laptops. Um, okay. Dog toys. I got a couple of you guys being like, Someone said this is indestructible. Um, I don't believe it until Jasper doesn't ruin it. If Jasper doesn't ruin it, it's indestructible. And you are right. So I went and found it. This is just called Braided Toy. $4. And it stretches out like... <laughs> of course, my mind has to veer off into the sex. Okay. But <laughs> it does stretch really far. Okay, enough about it. Yep. Jasper will like it. Okay, I can't talk about it anymore. And this is a rope ball with loop. Okay. Um, I don't know if he's going to like this or not. He might be scared of this ball. We will see. He's at the park right now. Um, actually, everybody's down at the park. Skylar had a friend stay over last night. Um, and I was like, you guys just all need to get out of the house so I can do a dollar animal haul. So they went, <laughs> they all went to the park. Jasper's probably swimming in the river right now. They're probably having a great time and it's 1.30 and I haven't cooked lunch yet. <laughs> okay, just a couple more things. Um, this isn't Halloween, but this is Thanksgiving. If you are not from Canada, you may not know, but our, um, Thanksgiving comes way early. Like we have Thanksgiving before Halloween. You guys have Thanksgiving when it's like almost Christmas, which blows my mind. I don't know how you guys can wait that long to decorate for Christmas and start celebrating. Like I would totally, I if I was American, I'd be like, nope, for Thanksgiving, I'm Canadian because I gotta get this out of the way so we can get the good shit out, okay? <laughs> Anyways, I always like having these because my table is like very worse for wear. We've had it for our entire um, marriage. My Grammy, who's in heaven, actually bought it for us. And it's very special to me, but it's hideous now <laughs> because the kids have completely ruined it over the years. Um, but I don't wanna have a nice table because they would ruin that now. So what's the point, right? But these I find add so much cute, flavor to the season um not in the way of eating it but just flavor for the eyes like the beauty okay and it just makes it a little more decorated and a little more nice so i grabbed that was it four dollars probably 350 they did have some other options make sure when you're buying that you look at the little like thing up here that tells you what size the table is because some of them are circles and some of them are like the really long table and I actually liked one a little bit better that was a circle and I was like nope I don't have a circle I got a square thing rectangle-ish anyways so I got that one and okay we're gonna try this because do I have dust in my house <laughs> I don't know why, but so much more than I feel like I should, okay? I literally will dust my Disney stuff, dust my mugs, dust like my counters, not my counters, my like, what are those called? Shelves and stuff. The next day, the next day, I look at it and there's dust again. Like, I just cleaned that. What is happening? I don't know if it's like, Maybe we're like all shedding a lot of skin or something. Isn't that what dust is? Or maybe it's because of the dog. Maybe it's the teenagers. I don't know. I like, I don't know. There's a lot of dust. So I think I've tried these before, but it's been a while. And I couldn't remember if I tried the Swiffer brand or if I tried like the knockoff Dollarama brand, which I'm leaning more towards. I did the knockoff Dollarama brand. Let me actually just open this right the heck up and see because, okay. The one that I had was longer than this. <laughs> okay, okay. See, I honestly, I don't know. 
I don't know. But the one that I had before, I didn't really love. I didn't really find that it worked all that well. No, maybe this is different. I don't know, it's definitely shorter than what I'm used to. <laughs> so if you're not totally turned off by all of my <laughs> inappropriate comments, why don't you hit subscribe if you're new and come join us. We like to have fun and not take life too seriously. But I'm gonna go dust some shit and I'll talk to you guys later. I skipped it off two times, three times, and five times. What? You learned how to skip a rock at the park? Three you times, five two times. times. And, You're better than me! And two times and three times. Holy! Right. You'll have to show me. <laughs> Jassy, you want a new toy? <gasps> Jassy, look! Is that a new toy? Oh my <laughs> sakes! That's for you, Butters! A new toy! <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> you dusting for me? I love it. Thanks, Mama. <laughs> Should I dust this? Oh, yeah. It's looking pretty good. Makes it more fun when you have something cool like that, eh? <laughs> I have another cream tool. Here she comes, Cinderella. <laughs> Two at a time, Mama. <laughs> you guys <laughs> they are so cute together get her jess get her <laughs> oh that makes me so happy finding some beans Did they wash that? yeah yeah A Ooh, that one looks good. Went like this. <laughs> like it's that big, you know, noise. And she jumped like Hi. this. Hi. And then flew You want that. a bean too? <laughs> it was hilarious. You didn't get the hilarious. Jumped up and went backwards. We saw two. Oh, you stinky just like my dog. Oh. Ooh, la la, peanut butter fountain. Amazing. Yeah. Jasper got his yep. own. Yep. A little puppy cone. <laughs> Cute. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. Well, that's not one scoop. <laughs> Holy friggin' Scooptopia. Very good. Yeah. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I got peanut butter cup cup, of course. Cup cup. Peanut butter cup cup. And my I got bar. birthday with some stuff in it. My whip sprinkles. whip topping and some sprinkles. <laughs> I'm and stuff. melting it. It looks super cool. Yeah, it's super hot out. So we're sitting in the car in the AC because it's moist, very moist outside. We love you guys so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Say bye. <laughs> Say bye. <laughs> bye, you guys.